Welcome to my channel. I'm here with a recipe for you guys. I have a whole bunch of stuff on this table. I'm going to go through it right now. I'm going to make some chickpeas with pig's feet. I'm going to write the name in a subtitle, you know, somewhere in this video in Spanish for you guys to know what it is. So here's all the ingredients that you need to make these delicious chickpeas with pig's feet. I have here some extra virgin olive oil. If you do not want to use extra virgin olive oil or if you don't have, you could definitely use corn oil. I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. I have here adobo without peppers, the blue top, okay? If you have the one with the pepper, you definitely could use the other one, which is the red one. I'm going to show it to you right now. I know I have one here. It's this one. All right, because every every color top is different. Okay, you could definitely use that one. I'm going to use the blue one. I may or may not add that. I'm not too sure. I'm going to first see, like, you know, if it's, like, you know, flavorful enough or, like, if it's not too salty or if I feel like I need to add a little bit of adobo, I'm definitely going to use it. Or if not, you could use salt. Okay, it's totally up to you. But this, I may or may not use it. Okay. Like I said, in all of my videos, I do everything step by step, and I go along with the flow when I cook. So, you know, I may use it or I may not. So, I'm just letting you guys know. We're definitely going to need some oregano, dried parsley. You're going to need two cans of tomato sauce, three potatoes. These potatoes are like, they're not too big, okay? So... Three will be good, but if you have like the real big potatoes, like more bigger than that, two will be good. Also, I have here some ham. This is like powdered ham to cook. Now, I was trying to find cooking ham. I could not find it because I really, really wanted to do this with cooking, like, like with cooking ham. But I couldn't find it. So, I'm just going to have to use this, you know packets that you could buy from Goya but I'm gonna tell you the truth if you can try to find like cooking ham okay but if you cannot find it you could definitely find this in your like Latin supermarket or whatever you know this this is also a good um option for you I'm gonna add one packet of sazon you could use the goya one but i like this one one cube of chicken i don't know if i'm saying it right bouillon or something like that a chicken cube that's what you're gonna need one because i always have problems saying that word i know <laughs> and then we have here a pack of salted pig's feet okay and for you could see more or less you know how many pounds and all that other stuff that's what I'm going to add to that. It is frozen. As you can see, I just took it out of the freezer. But we are going to boil these, okay? So, most definitely you need a pack of that. Okay. Now, if you want to make this whole recipe without the pig's feet, you definitely could just take that out, you know? Me, personally, I don't like pig's feet. I'm making this recipe for my mom because my mom is supposed to come over here a little later on to my house and I'm cooking for her and I figured well since I'm gonna cook for her I might as well do a video on how to make these garbanzos with pig's feet but you do not have to add it okay so I'm just letting you guys know I like chickpeas but I don't like pig's feet I'm being really really honest with you guys but like I said you could add it or not add it it's totally up to you. I also have here some garlic cloves right here. My mother did tell me to use um, garlic powder 
but I don't have any garlic powder so I'm gonna use garlic cloves I have here some sofrito I think this would be enough for the beans if you don't know how to make sofrito I will definitely leave a link below basically it's like a blend of different herbs and you know and stuff like that for you could put it on your rice your beans your meats is very very good and it makes your your food taste very very good so I highly recommend that you watch this video for you could know how to make it you could freeze it and it will last a good amount of time okay so I'm gonna leave that link in the description box I also have here three cans of garbanzos which is chickpeas I was going to make only two cans but my mother wants me to make three cans because she want to take some home so I ended up finding this can I'm sorry I got my door open <laughs> I bought these two cans to make the recipe and I already had had this so I mean it's the same thing you know just different brands but my mother wants me to make extra okay my mother wants me to make extra so I'm gonna make three cans okay for her I got some cilantro here I don't know people are really wilding now I'm telling you it gets a little hot people don't know how to act okay I got some cilantro fresh cilantro and I also have here some green bananas not to be confused with platanos which is plantains so this is everything here and I also have a pot of water when you make this recipe the first thing you're gonna want to do is boil your pig's feet okay because you want this to be nice and soft I am gonna boil it for two hours but I am going to check up on it You want this to be like soft but not also too 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 soft you know because we're still gonna cook these pigs feet when I make the beans so I'm just letting you guys know so it is boiling I'm gonna open up this pack right now and do this in front of you guys because this is the first thing you gotta do and I'm just gonna put it in there make sure your water is boiling or at least coming to a boil If you do not like pig's feet, you don't have to make this recipe with with this here, okay? Wait, wait, with the pig's feet is what I'm trying to say. You could do this recipe with everything else here minus this, okay? You definitely could could do it like that. So I'm just letting you guys know for those that do not like pig feet, okay? I'm just letting you know okay so here are the pig's feet it's been two hours um it looks pretty good to me you know so what i'm gonna do is i am going to put this aside okay i'm gonna put it aside mm, look at this you know you don't want it like to be falling out of bones and stuff like that even though that's good too you know but you don't want to make it too, 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 like, really soft. Because you're going to still keep cooking this. So, and don't throw away the water. Very important. Because we're going to add some of this water into the beans. I'll show you everything in a minute. So, I'm going to turn this off. Alright. So, two hours. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to push it to the back. Because right now, I'm going to peel the potatoes and do the garlic and do everything that I'm supposed to do. And we're going to go on to the next step. So, we'll be back. Okay, I already put that to the side. And I got here a pesto, a pilon. And I am going to add a couple of cloves of garlic. I am doing this much, but it's not going to go all on the recipe. If you want to use garlic, use like about like three for just that. But I'm going to do more because I do want to make like a like a sauce or a ajo for the plantain so i'm gonna use some and reserve some for the plantains okay but you could only use three and i'm gonna add 
a little bit of adobo just a little bit because i don't want this to be salty and i'm also gonna add some oregano about just a little pinch okay and i'm gonna start mashing it up You hear that guys? That's why I gotta fast forward this part. <laughs> Okay, so my garlic is done and I am going to peel the potatoes next. Okay, so I already did my garlic, I cut the potatoes and all that good stuff, and I'm also making the rice, I seasoned the chicken, and all that stuff. I'm going to show you all of that in a minute, because I'm making these beans with white rice, chicken cutlets, fried plantains, and my son just went to get me some avocado, so let's hope I get avocado, because I love avocados. But anyway... <laughs> So I got my pot here. I would have loved to do this in a rice pot, but I'm using my rice pot right now for me to make the rice. So I'm going to be using this, but it would be great if you use a rice pot to make these beans. But you got to work with what you have, right? All right. So I have about like maybe four or five tablespoons of olive oil. Why am I using so much? Because this is three cans of beans. I'm making a lot for my family, so we definitely need about that much. First, you want to add the sofrito. It's about like two tablespoons full of sofrito, you see? About like two tablespoons, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of water in here to grab everything else. <laughs> Make sure we get everything. <laughs> okay. There you go. And I'm getting a spoon. Alright. Put that up. Alright. Make sure you have this like on. Like on medium low when you're doing this step right here. Okay. This is a very very big pot though. You know. Even though I should have used a, a regular like a rice pot, this is really a huge pot. And we're going to add the two cans of tomato sauce. Ok, 
Okay, this is looking lovely. I love it. Mm. It's just breaks my house to life when I smell that sofrito in there. Mm-hmm. And then the chicken cube or bouillon. <laughs> I don't know how. I hope I'm saying it right. I know that some people be correcting me. It's like this. I know y'all trying to help me. <laughs> okay, that only one. One packet of sazon. Okay. The two packets of ham, jamon. But I highly, highly, please listen to me. Recommend that you get real ham for this, cause oof, it makes such a such a great difference. It does. I'm sorry. I'm gonna add some parsley. I mean, you can add as little as much as you want, but I'm gonna add about this much. Oregano. I'm gonna add and. About maybe like this much, okay? I'm not gonna add no adobo until everything comes together and I taste it. If I feel like it needs a little bit more salt, you know, I'll 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 add I'll add it, you know. Like I said, you can add either the adobo or the salt. A little bit of garlic. Now garlic is to your liking you can add a little bit you could add a lot i'm adding like at least a half a, a tablespoon of it you know probably a little bit more just a little 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 bit more okay but it's up to your liking you know whatever you want to do course always clean up afterwards because I can't stand seeing a mess I just don't like it I don't know about you guys but that's just the way I am I like to clean and go clean and go <laughs> and that's the way it is okay so I'm gonna let this do this for like at least two more minutes and then we're gonna add the beans and everything else okay so let's work on this now it's been there for two minutes I have here my three cans of of chickpeas, garbanzos, and I rinsed it out, okay? So, we want to put that in there. And to this, we're going to add some water. So, I got my can right here of chickpeas. We're gonna add, I'm gonna try first two, two cans of water, okay? You know what? I'm gonna add one and a half, okay? So, one and a half cans of water because I am going to take some of the water from the pig's feet in here. gonna also add some of that water from the pig's feet okay Now, I don't like pig's feet, but it does look good in here. That's for sure. I'm just worried about the pot, you know? If not, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so with the same can and that we reserved, I'm gonna add for now a half can of the water, okay? I'm just like, oh my God. I should have used my rice pot, but <laughs> It is what it is. My mother also wanted me to do it in the in a pressure cooker that I have, 
But I told her, I was like, what about if there's people out there with no pressure cooker, you know? We gotta, I gotta think about those people too. And she was like, well, you're right, you know? So, it is what it is. Oh, I hope this is good enough. You know what? I'm gonna turn this off for just a, like a, like a minute. And I'm just gonna transfer this into a bigger pot, a, a rice pot that I have. I should have done that from the beginning and I was thinking about doing it. But I didn't want to use that pot. I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm going to end up using it anyway because it's it's too much beans. And yeah, I don't want it to like bubble up and then, and then go all over the place. So we'll be back. I'm so sorry, you guys. We'll be back. This is the pot. I don't know why I didn't do that in the beginning. Oh, my goodness. I just really, really, you know, didn't feel the need to you know do this oh there comes there it is oh god okay Woo. all right <laughs> when there's a will there is a way and now i feel more confident now cooking in this big pot because i can stir it use this metal spoon that I love to bang and it is what it is okay that's what we should have done take notes do it like this in a pot like this I should have I should have listened to my own self all right then so remember that we used a half can of the water well I'm gonna put another half so let's add I'm gonna tell you right now how much to add okay All right, you guys. So, one and a half can of regular water and two cans of the same water of the pig's feet, okay? That gives it a lot of flavor, just in case, because I know that it was a little mixed up, and I, I like to clear myself up when I feel like, like I did something wrong. So, just in case you don't know, you already know. One and a half cans of water and two cans of the broth of the pig's feet okay very important because you want a lot of flavor to this and some of this is going to evaporate when it thickens up also try to not throw away still the water from the from the pig's feet in case it does you know evaporate a little too much that you end up walking away and you do something you can still add a little bit more i'm so sorry you guys okay i put my heat on on high heat now very high heat you want to do that and we're going to add the potatoes and all that other stuff now okay so let's let this go to like a, a boil and i want to show you what you want to do next with the green bananas okay so let's go Let's check up on the beans. They look very, very, very good. I'm just waiting for it to thicken up a little bit. Just a little bit before I start like um doing the like the banana balls, which I'm gonna show you right now. Once it thickens just a little, little, little bit, then I wanna add the banana balls. I've been cooking this on medium heat for like let's say mm, like medium low like for maybe like 25 minutes you want to let this cook for like a little while because you know you want the everything to get nice and, and thick and also the, the the chickpeas not to be so so hard you know and tender and as well as the pig's feet okay all right so just to let you guys know like i like i said earlier if you want to make this recipe without this trust me you could do it just try to buy the cooking ham and add it in there and believe me you you still have delicious delicious beans look at that beautiful okay all right i have my rice here that's gonna be for the plantains 
that is gonna be to do my chicken cutlets the beans are still doing its thing I got my chicken cutlets here in in the nice marinade I got some plantains here. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of plantains because, you know, my kids don't really want a lot of plantains. So I have that. I also use the rest of the garlic and, you know, add like added some more olive oil and vinegar. And I made like a sauce for my plantains. My son ended up getting me the avocado, but he bought it really, really hard. They are not ripe at all. So, what I have to do is not eat none with no avocado. But, remember what I'm telling you, you guys. Eat it with avocado. It's really, really good. And we're going to do this in like another two, three minutes, okay? So, that's everything that's going on. And we'll be back. Okay, so I got my green bananas. And this is the way it looks, green. I'm going to use three, but you can add as much little balls in your beans as much as you want. I'm going to add three. I like like the little bolitas, so I'm going to add three. You want to use this part of a grater or even maybe this one, but not these sides, okay? Please, this side, all right? So I'm going to cut the banana, the green banana, all right? You want to do this like so. And I am going to run this in hot water just for it to loosen the skin. Okay, and we are going to peel it. Make sure you throw these little tips away, all right, when you get towards the end. And also be very careful when you're doing this step because you probably could hurt yourself, you know, with your fingers. So I'm just letting you guys know. Okay, so at this point, I am going to add just a little bit of adobo just to add a little bit of flavor to the masa. And then you want to mix it up. You just want to add a little bit of, of the adobo, but when you dump it in there, the sauce of the of the of the I'm sorry, that's my granddaughter. Um 
the sauce of the of the beans is gonna flavor this all up okay so don't worry about it all right so let's go to the stove look at how the beans are looking nice and beautiful now we're gonna add the bolitas i the rice is almost done and I'm frying the chicken now, so if you hear a lot of noises that I'm frying the chicken in the back burner, the plantains are always too last. All right, so mix it again. And then you want to take like a spoon, you know, like this. And you just dump it in there, like dump, like dump, dumplings. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I got a little confused there. Don't move it. All right. It will cook on its own. If you move it, you're gonna mess it up the balls so just leave it doing this thing you could do any size you want you don't want to at least move it for like a few minutes okay wait let it cook for a little while try to like not put it together as well it will stick so as you notice i'm trying to put it separated from one another and there you go. All right, so I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes. Still fried chicken. And I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Okay. All right, you guys, I waited a few minutes. This one, you could turn it a little bit because this is a little raw. Just try to turn it slowly. This one too. Very slowly. But these are very delicate, okay? I don't want to mix the beans up a little too much. I'll mix it up when they're fully cooked. So you can see everything. And alright, just want to make sure I turn all of them. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna let this cook a little bit. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but we're gonna I'm gonna mix it all up when these are like fully cooked, okay? And this helps also thicken up the beans a little bit. I got some chicken cutlets right here. And I'm frying more. And that's what's going on. The rice is almost done. And yeah. Okay. I did give it a little turn. Alright. And this is the way the bolitas look. Wait. I'm going to try to... Remember the potatoes and everything. You don't have to add the potatoes if you don't want to. And add the... Like the little bolitas, that's what I call them. Well, that's what they called <laughs> for us. But I like potatoes on my beans, so real nice. Look at how they look. Very nice and soft. Look at this. You got a nice pig's feet. Ugh. Look at the way the pig's feet look. Nice and beautiful. Okay. So this is the way it looks. Alright, so... I'm still frying more chicken. This is basically done. I'm gonna taste it. Just the sauce. And look, it's nice and thick. Okay, that's what you want. So I am gonna taste the sauce. Even though I had tasted it a little bit, like earlier, <laughs> to see if I had to adjust any like salt. Hold on. Okay, this is pretty good. I like the way it tastes and everything. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Always want to taste your food for that way if you need to add more salt. Even though, to be honest with you, I didn't add no salt, no adobo when, while I was cooking. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let this sit here. Alright. I'm going to still fry more chicken. I just got to fry a little bit more left. And I'm frying my, hold on, I'm frying my plantains right now. I'll show you a little bit of video, like a little piece of that.